good morning. It is 6.46 a.m. 7. It's 7.46 a.m. And we are on our way to our flight. Let Fashion Week begin. We are taking a plane to New York. We forgot the camera at home. So we'll overnight it uh, tomorrow. But today we have a pretty chill day. Uh, we just have our sax uh, party in the evening and another uh, Isabel Moran event and that's it. So we'll have some time to, uh, to rest. I don't have hair and makeup booked for tonight yet. 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 yet, yet, but I have fate, and honestly, I don't you care. I don't care. Slick bun, natural, or clean girl aesthetic. We're good to go. I'm coming. at our hotel. I'm staying at the Ludlow Hotel in the Lower East Side and this is such a cute, charming room. Also the bathroom is gorgeous and there's a bath. I haven't had a bath in so long because our rental doesn't have a bath. But also, can we talk about this lighting? Holy yes, this is a must. I'm also getting inspo for our new home. But this is really cute. I'm into it. I'm staying in New York for one week and uh, we have a lot to cover. There's a lot of exciting stuff going on. Everything is, of course, last minute. And honestly, it's been already super stressful. But the great thing is, first of all, that Celine, who is just my right hand person, she doesn't show stress. So even when it's like she about to fall apart, she's just never oozes this like urgency which i really appreciate because then it keeps me calm and i'm like okay we'll figure it out and in general i find that i don't have anything prepared for this fashion week and i'm sure that my team is freaking out <laughs> but i'm kind of like we'll see how it goes you know like sa yesterday messaged me she's like hey so like what are you wearing to this we have an, a sax event tonight i'm like i don't know she's like oh <laughs> you're crazy said yeah it's just like the new me we're just don't stress anymore because what's the point life is too short actually i'll tell you why i don't stress anymore i don't stress anymore because and i do stress when i say i don't stress anymore i definitely still stress you know about a week ago uh, a really good friend of mine passed away someone who was literally like a shining star in the world uh shelby uh dean creek and uh Ooh, uh, and it just really refocused me if that makes sense. unfortunately that what needs to like remind you like these strategies are the one that remind you what actually is important in life and how unpredictable life is and um i just think that you know i it was really difficult to process and um you're just kind of like what am i really what am i stressing about Okay, now I'm gonna think about my friend for a little bit. See you soon. Okay, first day we're going to two events. We have Saks and we have Isabel Moran. We needed to wear something that will work with both. Decided to go for this healthy little Canadian tuxedo situation going on. We didn't have glam today, so I did my own. I'm terrified that this hair is gonna dry up. I used some like something I saw on YouTube to make like with hair look but I don't know if it's gonna it's starting to dry and then the look is like not gonna work and then for full look this is it it's giving like I don't know what it's giving we'll see Twelve thirty, and I am in bed way later than needed but we did what we had to do we went to the events we needed to go met the people we needed to meet 
We ordered Uber Eats because we didn't even have dinner. I told Celine we need to schedule in our like meal times because otherwise you just like end up not eating. Tomorrow's an insane day. We have I think like seven events tomorrow, including two really big ones. The Fendi event where they're celebrating a hundred years of the baguette, which is like a huge thing. And then there's the Harper's Bazaar Icons party, which is like probably the biggest event uh during fashion week in new york so i don't have what to wear <laughs> but that's tomorrow's problem now my tummy is full i had a great day and it's time to go to sleep good night i will see you tomorrow okay today is not developing like I wanted it to. I finished my uh, presentation with Kate Spade and then right now Amanda here is gonna help me to get ready for my uh, next three events. So we have the Neta Porte party, then we have the Fendi and then we have the big one which is the Harper's Bazaar icons party. And uh, I have to say like I don't love what I'm wearing. We're gonna make me love it with the glam we're gonna tie it all together and i feel like sometimes i'm very stubborn in terms of like the vision that i want uh but sometimes it also kind of works against me because i don't push myself to try something else and i think that this is a great learning opportunity for me it might be a total flop but it doesn't matter wish me luck Okay, waiting for Celine to come back for a sticky for the nipples because right now this is not working. We landed on this dress. My other option was this dress. And although it's fun, it just felt like I can't, it's not really giving me what I needed to give. This one kind of reminded me a little bit of that like Victorian style, this dress that I wore in the south of France when I went with Lancome. So I know that that's my style. I know that I can like make it happen. And uh, I decided to, I did, actually did not decide nothing. I relied on the craftsmanship of Amanda to try to put this together. Like she told me, let's do a little bit of like a little pirate, if that makes sense, right? Uh, because this is such a romantic dress. Like if you make everything super soft and like clean, it's just like, it's not giving. It's like something, you know, we've seen on you before. She's like, let's do purple on the eye and it will help to pop the green. Let's like put the hair up in a way that's like super cool. Like she used metal, just like to bring something, something. This is very much out of my comfort zone, but you know what? If there is a time to start getting out of your comfort zone is during fashion week and my first like big red carpet. So it's time. We're gonna change the jewelry. This one is gorgeous. I'm going to wear it for Neta Porte, but I'm not going to wear it for the Fendi or for Harper's Bazaar. So, I need to change it up. Okay, I'm going to go stick my boobies together. How's your first intense red carpet? It was insane. I don't know how people do it. It was so crazy. I was like, my, my, my legs were shaking. I'm so happy I wore like a long dress. Also, this dress is longer than me. So I'm literally like walking, wobbling to the next. And they're like, okay, keep walking. But step now, step back, step forward. Look at that, look at that. Over the shoulders. Look. Like, <laughs> but you look great. And then I was like, oh my god, do I have boogers? Is my thing there? Is my, is my makeup running? Do I have under eye thing? No one's gonna tell you, you know? No. You're just standing there. They're just there to yell at you. <laughs> Did you have fun? It was like a very good. Who was the most exciting person to see there? Oh my god, no, I saw a lot of people. No, I but the most people. exciting that you were like, oh! My friend Rita from Miami. Like celebrity wise? Oh. Shout out to Rita though. <laughs> Shout out to Rita. So you see and Dixie's new haircut? Yeah, she looks great. She was very bored though. I was looking at her, she was just standing there. She... And I was like, girl, same. You and me, let's, let's go home now. <laughs> Overall uh, review for today. Overall, I'm really proud of myself because that was literally like the scariest thing for me ever. So I feel like today was very uh, important.
A lot of uh, personal growth. A lot of personal growth, yeah. Wow, I haven't been vlogging at all. I have to tell you, the last 20, 48 hours have been so overwhelming that uh, we were just focusing on trying to survive. And this today's Saturday, and we have Saturday off, and tomorrow's off, so we can kind of regroup. I was telling Celine how yesterday gave me such major like anxiety and made me question myself so much. But then today, everywhere we've been going, like I see some of you guys, like part of my community, that come up and say hello, and uh, and just like share like the sweetest things with me and I it feels like the universe is kind of like I know you had a rough day yesterday but like keep on going anyway so just walking around I'm just following Celine I don't know where we're going I don't care to know where we're going I'm about to change your life do you want it? does that involve food? it could <laughs> It's Sunday today. I just have a COVID test that I need to do for a show on Tuesday. And that's it. Today is also super chilled. And I'm so happy about it. It's been such a rough entrance into a Fashion Week. So, so disorganized so like all over the place and just really caught me off guard and really made it difficult for me to do what i'm supposed to be doing here which is you know capture content and been really out of it and obviously i got my period the timing is immaculate i'm really happy that saturday sunday is off so i can kind of reset and start on monday the week that I was, you know, with the energy and all the things that I was planning to have. I don't know what it is about fashion weeks or fashion month in general. I think because the person I am and kind of the shit that I deal with, you know, internally, for some reason, like fashion week bring up all the worst insecurities, you know, the things that I've been working really hard on uh, to move away from like the playing small, the insecurities, the self-worth issues. I, they're obviously very deeply rooted because I thought we're past that. But this is just kind of, I guess, another challenge from the universe to be like, let's see how much have you really kind of, you know, solved. Something that Gary constantly gets so frustrated with me is that I'm at these events and I go to the trouble of being at these places but I always like run away from cameras or you know don't push myself to go on the carpet or anything like that and I find it really frustrating too but it's just something in me that I'm I'm just like no, it's okay it's okay like I don't want to I don't want to take any space you know on the Harper's Bazaar you know obviously that happened on a day where I was all over the place and everything is super last minute and you know the outfit I couldn't figure out like if I like it like the hair and makeup like nothing really connected to me and I was so close to just be like you know what like let's just not do it I was also overbooked there were too many events in my schedule and uh, I didn't get to capture any content, like nothing. Once we got to that carpet, I'm just like, you, you just, you just gotta go. You just have to do it. Like there's no other way. And it was so interesting because my my legs were literally shaking under the dress. And I just walked the carpet. I smiled, kept walking and walking. And when I look at the photos, like actually Gary called me. He's like, I haven't seen you this scared and insecure in a long time. And I'm like, I know. I know and it's so funny because it's nothing major it's so silly it's like you walk the carpet you take photos you like you feel yourself and you move on and yet I shrink myself so much I don't understand uh, I was talking to my friend and I was kind of sharing how I feel and I've realized that I keep doing fashion weeks literally to work on this issue because when I started social media, I started social media to break 
this like habit of constantly worrying and caring about what other people think of me that's what kind of pushed me through i literally just jump into the deep end and learn how to swim in that you know what i mean so for me this is another way of breaking that fear i acknowledge it i understand it i don't even care too much to dive that deep into like why it's there i just want to push myself to do it often enough where at some point you're just like oh like it's fine it's cool it's, you, you already like know what you're doing and then it's interesting because yesterday uh saturday celine and i went for uh, breakfast and we're sitting and chatting and stuff and i've met probably like 10 of you uh 10 people from like my community who just stopped and 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 just said the nicest things and just said hey like i love following you and told me why they follow me and it was literally like a big huge hug that i got after a day that just felt like drained the hell out of me um and it was so funny i was looking at celine every time someone came up i'm like i'm telling you the universe has my back it just it felt like i needed it right and these beautiful people just coming and just giving me that warmth and energy and you know affirmation in a way it was really really cool to see so i wasn't really doing much yesterday and i was just really enjoying uh processing and just kind of like you know releasing releasing like not constantly thinking about um all the things that didn't go to plan because that's just honestly part of this job i am starting new i'm here until thursday so i have a few more days to just really make it count and make it impactful for fashion i love i love fashion do i love fashion week i can't explain it because i feel like maybe for me it gets tainted with all these other things that are you know all these other nuances that are a bit more annoying but at the end of the day for content creators i mean fashion week is a great opportunity for exposure and for uh you know meeting your peers and meeting people and stuff and um, and that's why a lot of people do it. For me and my introvert uh, self, being in a room, you know, being at home and shooting outfits, and that's definitely my comfort zone. These are the challenges that make you better and make you smarter and teach you things. You can always stay in your comfort zone, but nothing grows there, you know what I mean? <sighs> need to journal need to get all of this out and that's that 